No, no, we are waiting for the tape. Oh, do you want it? Sorry. Funerary quarter. Hmm? Funerary quarter. The sister of Sanu Tanga is here. A very good morning. Oh, my papa is ready. Shall we? A very good morning, members of the press. My name is Promise Mkwananzi, the spokesperson of the Citizens Coalition for Change. Um, I'm going to give you the context in which we are addressing this press conference. With me here is Gladys Lachwayo, our Secretary for International Relations. We are also going to be joined by the President's Chief Election Agent, Advocate Charles Kwaramba, who is going to give us hard facts. Uh, is here actually. Uh, come on. So the team is complete. On my far left is Ellen Chiriedenga. Uh, she is the Deputy Secretary for Elections, the Elections Bureau, followed by Mai Tome. She's assisting with the elections, looking particularly at the incidences that have occurred. Then on my immediate left, is advocate Charles Kwaramba, the presidential chief election agent. I had already introduced Gladys Lachwayo, who is our Secretary for International Relations. We are meeting in the context of unprecedented developments in our country. We want to express our gratitude to the SADC Observer Mission, Electoral Commission's Forum of SADC, SADC countries, the African Union Observer Mission, the Commonwealth Observer Mission, the European Union Observer Mission, and the Qatar Center Election Observer Mission for their impartiality, dedication, and tireless work in overseeing Zimbabwe's harmonized elections. Their collective efforts to uphold democratic values and provide an assessment for the electoral landscape are commendable. 
the Election Observer Missions raised and confirmed a series of electoral malpractices which resonate with our own assessments. Number one, the absence of electoral reforms, a flawed and controversial delimitation exercise, misuse of the Maintenance of Peace and Order Act to curtail freedom of assembly and selectively applied restrictions, including the banning of opposition rallies. Recent amendments to the Criminal Law Codification and Reform Act restricting constitutionally guaranteed freedoms. Abuse of state resources, exorbitant nomination fees hindering political participation, concern over the judiciary's independence, ZEC's perceived lack of independence and transparency, absence of a transparent voters' role, reports of violence including the tragic loss of Tinashe Chitsunge, alleged intimidation of, by entities such as FAS, concerns over postal and voting procedures, state media bias, voter suppression through alleged material shortages, reports of targeted harassments of domestic observers. Dr. Mumba's unwavering commitment to ensuring transparency in the elections was met with unfortunate threats, including death threats and intimidations, especially from ZANPF leaders and supporters. Such actions undermine democracy and condemn, we condemn these acts unequivocally. From the data availed to us through the V11, we are confident in our strong performance in both the parliamentary and council elections as our agent will affirm, our chief election agent. Preliminary indications provide reason to believe that President Chamisa is in a favorable position for the presidential victory. We urge the Zimbabwe Election Commission to announce these results promptly and accurately. We call upon all Zimbabweans to maintain calm and peace during this period. We must, we must stand united, vigilant against any efforts to subvert the will of the people. Post-election incidences. The notion of a peaceful election does not capture our experience and we deeply regret to inform the public of various disturbing instances post the election. Honorable Solomon Hodera Buera South was attacked by Ngonizashe Madukunye, a ZANPF candidate at Muzokomba Business Center together with his chief election agent around 3 p.m. on the 24th of August 2023 during the counting. A police report has been made with reference number RRB 5293436-23. There was a case of arson in Buera where our member Ellen Chakanetsa's house was bent to ashes. Honorable Dorot Msonza from Arare South and the agents were abducted at DDF Manyanye and brutally beaten. Our agents were chased away from the polling station. In Highlands, Dorot Zuchi and Nomusa Maradzika's house were pelted with stones. Reports were made with the Arab, Arab, Arab number 47299874. In Maramba Pungwe, 13 of our members were attacked and to, and to seek refuge in Harare. The first organization report, reportedly threatened voters and enforced command voting. There have been multiple instances, more than 100 cases actually, of such malpractices. Traditional leaders in regions, including Buera, Mutasa, Sanyati, and more, were reportedly.
Right, uh, that's what happened. Uh, Kunoku Sapis. Um, Tribu C, one got out a press conference. Yavo, the bar Matak Zawaya. Thank <laughs> you.